last video ran out of battery. That's what happens. It's on the phone with Amazon trying to. Oh, I was on the phone with Amazon <laughs> for two hours. I was up at 4 a.m. again. So, I haven't stopped. I haven't stopped. I had a sip of soda. Some soda. I think you can get some. A Cuban sandwich and Caesar salad from the same. El Custaleco. El Custaleco. They're really good. I like it. So, enough of this. I'm going to put on some music. Trying to figure out where it's going to touch them. Not very loud. Turn to off. Trying to figure out where it's going to touch them. Turn them on the guitar to turn to off. <laughs> take my friend's music all the time. So why would I promote all the, I promote these, these guys. I never promote me. That was horrible. There you go. Now I'll start. So uh, anyway. I can't stop there. We stopped here at the Guild FRCE. No. F Four seven RCE, maybe it's Rosewood, R Rosewood Cutaway Electronics, and I was doing that. My light here. Oh, what are you on? What do you need something here? This light. So, yeah. See that one? I'm mean, gonna just say I have a little work here. There. There's a focus button. But, uh, that. Yeah, it was very good. Time. But that was a prefix blender. I can't make a focus button. Hold on. There it is. The contour. The frequency, one of them. You slide it up and down when you're playing. This isn't a wawa. That's all I wanted to say about that. So, uh, starting here right now, I'm moving because I got this thing back after a long time, and uh, and I always things are happening here. Breaking you know, though, my friend has some Mike Bar. Mike, my, my friend, I think. Should I? So. Uh, this is a Savage right here, right here. And this is, I'm not, I hardly use that. But I'll use it now because it's here. It's the Savage Roar 15, which is like a Savage uh, Roar 15. But it's something, it's like a 30 something. Anyway, I got these Savages because Pole Jam was using them on one of the albums. And this real guitar that's speaking, wait, listen to it, this is a real. <laughs> Me. Oh, I'm the retard. Of course. No, I'm not. Uh, 
I like when he says this part. Let's get my fart. Oh wait, I got cut off. Okay, it's playing something else. I don't know whatever it wants. Okay, but this is off. See, I was in Instagram. Oh. Fine. I was in the, I found out Instagram. My friend, I didn't know how to do that. But I found out. So I knew this part, because like, watch. This is a, uh, hard to work. <laughs> it's hard. There's a, uh, That's kind of horrible. That's the point. That's... That's what they copied it. People don't want to say everything. But these are pretty cool. I had these in store for so long because I didn't have a speaker for them. But these, this is the Silver Jubilee. So what is it? Uh, 25 watt? I got one now. That's the 25 watt Silver Jubilee. And that's the... Uh, JTM 45 25 watt and they're EL 34s the aerial 34s so there's the folks what is it called ODS 2 that's a really great amp and there's a good amp this one is the uh, actually it's the Bogner Bogner Duende Seiko Mahato. Duende Seiko Mahato. Okay, which means we're going to be behind them. And that's a um, Super Gold Tone. 30 RVH. River Head. And this is a. Uh, uh, I don't want to play this song. This is a good one. I like this. This one, that guitar. Cool, that's good one for this one. Save this. But they can't copyright me. <laughs> cool. Alright. So I was working, because this is what I do. These guys, I don't have any help. As a matter of fact, it's hard because I don't have help. I'm afraid to ask for help. Ow, I hurt my toe. Stubbed it. Okay, so this one, I put the double boom. I thought I just brought this out. Yeah, I got this stuff for sale. Is there a double stuff? Double. I bought some double stuff, the double, and this was available. So I got this, but I never used it. I don't know what the heck I was doing. I was just getting stuff. So I knew that I was going to need it one day. No, I didn't. I didn't know that. But, uh, ha, ha, ha. So there's the, uh, War Savage. War 15. It's a great amp right here. Great, great, great. Savage Audio Mach 12X. I got two. One for sale. This is the one I'm, I'm keeping. I'm selling one. The purple one. But this is a great amp. This is a Mach 6 I just sold. Because I bought these things off of this guy, Savage. Whatever his name is in Minnesota. Uh, forget a long time ago from my friend Tommy at MAE. He had them because remember at MAE there was the place for boutique stuff. He had boutique stuff. And uh, so I got some stuff. Uh, he, he, I, I don't know what the heck I wanted to sound like. But uh, we'll go through this. So really quickly, this is a long one. But there's, see, I, I make clean leaves. Clean. That's what I, I, I was obsessed. Now you see me messing around because it's harder. They call it, this is not like a, 
and also arthritis. So we started here, the JPP. The second one guitar, the second guitar is a 2003 uh, 59 reissue. There's another reissue. This one doesn't have stock pickups anymore. It's got more quick horses. It's got a uh, crazy. It's got a. Uh, oh, you know what? This is distracting. This guy just. Whatever. Well, I don't know what I want. I want. Back up. My favorite. This one, I like this song. I don't know, this is from Instagram. Yeah, I found Instagram and I sent stuff up. I was, I was down there. That's weird how this attaches. This is more. I believe it. I just saw the Black Crows play in this. And I liked it. I like because you know what? Who was playing guitar? Chris was playing guitar, not Rich. I think Rich was singing. Yeah, that's I love Sweet Nothing. So there's that. So this one, those are uh, intros. Brandon Wilds, Brandon Wilds. These are Jimmy Page's pickups. That's Jimmy Page, but I'm not really good enough to play it, but it's good. This one's a 2003. This one's like a 2004. But the thing about that one is the color. The color I've never seen before or after. It's uh, Heritage, Heritage Dark Burst. Highly figured. The, uh, the burst is highly figured. So we got those. Do that, you know, this is both pleasant, pleasant. So these are considered up there, dream catcher. But this part, this part, I'm not gonna show the wood. This is here, that's a barren bow string. Barren bows are great. Oh boy, I like my barren bow. You know what the barren bow is? They're yeah, so cool. Wow, I'm not talking about barren bows. Now, the next guitar is a uh, Wow, oh, it's a Les Paul 1960 classic. Okay, this has got the 490, 498. 490, 498 are the other way around. All right, it's got that. I'm not going back and forth anymore. The next guitar is the white one. Is a... Uh, Mexican, it's a, it's a Jimmy Vaughn with the Tex-Mex pickups. I will say I'm going to go next to this one because this, that there, that one, look at that. See how little that is? And I got the black one too. See, watch this. This is the Jap. See that? See that? How close it is. I love this. 
I love that. And if you want to know, the text back that Jimmy Vaughn, I think he designed the pickups. And Stevie wanted to be Jimmy, that's why he played guitar. So like Stevie Ray Vaughan, he didn't like his luthier thing. He had the good ones, but he didn't really like his guitars beat up for a reason. And Jimmy, he designed this guitar. This is like the first Mexican guitar now that they make in uh, Encino or the, in Mexico. But this was the Tex-Mex. And this is probably one of my favorite guitars. It's the Tex-Mex pickups. Strat, it's my favorite Strat. Well, it's hard because I got three. I got the 50s Jet, which is a great. I got the Jimmy Vaughn, which is amazing. And I got this one, it's heavy, heavy. This is a 57 in Aztec Gold, 57 reissue, Aztec Gold, okay? That's what that is. And uh, so this stuff won't be to put up. This one is a thousand. I liked it, the radio tone, right? The radio tone, resophonic, although it didn't have this. This is called a, uh, a hot plate pickup, that national, because I remember when I was looking, Tommy, I wanted to get, I saw a Dobro. It was a Dobro, and it was made by Gibson, and they had an alligator on the back. I wanted that one, because it had an alligator, you know, it had a wine seeds. Like the other year, but it got so it had four hundred bucks, but it got so I had that much money. But then later, and that's not why I bought the radio tone. I was looking into I saw the radio tone, and I like the way it sounds. It's big. Well, I'll give you better pictures. You can see. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk. Okay. I shouldn't talk. I just walk around the room. All right, so the radio tone, I called it the shit. I was looking for a steel string guitar and National Tommy, National Bob Brosman was the uh, representative. So I called National, I talked to the guys, that was the guy's name, same guy. Oh, uh, St. Louis Abisto, where that place is. Okay, so I talked to the guy from Nashville. And they sent me down a, a, a CD, a double CD, where Bob Brosman had every guitar in that lineup in that year, 2003. And he was using them and showing what all they did. So they hold, oh, it's the most. I, for a while, I bought a baritone. I bought a baritone. But I didn't know how to, I broke the string at that MAE. And I said, oh no, I don't know how to do this one. So I, the Tommy took it back. He was good with that. It's good that because I bought a 5150 a PV and I don't like that one at all. But he took that back. And we worked out things that I can get guitars. We, we worked out things. I don't even want to say how it was like $20. I give him here, $30 here, juggling, juggling, juggling. So he just took it and read his seat and paid it off. They had layaway, good layaway with those guys. I don't know those guys, but he kind of like ran the place. He's a drummer. He drums. He's a drummer. He plays guitar. That's that's a bunch of stuff. Nice guy. Great guy. Great guy. Moved to Ocala. That's why I can say I, uh, I was a good guy. Good friend of mine. But he moved. So was the other guy. I'll show you something about him. But uh, we're gonna get past all that junk. Go past the guitars. I decided to get the radio tone. I called up because I wanted to pick up. They had a hot plate like this. This is like a roller pickup or whatever it is in there. This is like, oh, uh, that, okay. And this makes it sound good, good, good. That's say 66 P bass. It was uh, manufactured in 66, which was our year of the barn. So that's why I got a P bass from a guy. And he was selling it was 66. I think it might have even been made in my birthday month. But the next one is easy, easy peasy, is a, uh, I bought this red guitar because I saw 
Rich Robinson. I, I, I saw him using it. I saw him using one or something like this in the Jealous Again video. A big red one like that. Not also what his name. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. But uh, oh. Chuck Berry had something. And it was, so, so I was like, what, what, what? So they had a place to buy the stockade. A uh, place up there. For L'Oreal. For a while. And uh, they couldn't give these away. The dots. They had this. But he had one video. I said I wanted to get one. So it was like really cheap. It was like a thousand dollars. This is a 61 reissue dot. 30 dot. It was not a 1300. 1100. So the dot. It's what Warren Hayes uses. It's what Warren Hayes uses. So now I'm talking about Warren Hayes. Alan Woody <laughs> used the DB3. Now I just don't know how I. But that's that one works. That one works good. That's an AB3 and that works good. It's a 65. It didn't work good when I got it. There's only one thing wrong with it. I think I have to move some I won't fit over. I might get involved. I didn't want to. That would be easy. So that's kind of cool about that. That's the most important part. Really? But you know what? I'll tell you what, if you look at why is he got guy that's not such a good guitar player having so much gear. Because that's why. Because <laughs> since I was moving this stuff all over the place. And that's a lot of work. I just and this, my friend said, don't ever take lessons to do better. Do it. I used to sit in my room. A little studio apartment and watch the television and, and get angry at it and just noodle around. I heard that the guy, Kim Thiel, did that too. It was dangerous, you know, talking to the television and playing, and I get all worked up. And then I go out and get my drink. Yeah, this is what we're doing, getting our drinks on, and also working in the kitchen, restaurant. In the biz. Sounds like wine she cooked back then. Sort of, I was doing a lot of things. Should not be claimed the one thing. When I was peddling Susie, it's because, uh, well, the story, and they're not going to tell the story right now. It says that is, they gave me that name. That was a nickname they gave to me. And I didn't know about it. But, uh, you know, so it's, I was named because I was on a bicycle for five years. And you know why? I was on a bicycle for years. 19. 19, 1993 to 1998. 98? Bicycle, something like that. Yep, lost my license for that long. And I got a good job as a dishwasher at Red Robin Restaurant. Yeah, because I was heard that if you become a line cook, you, you, you make it really big in this world. See, with, with the ladies and stuff. It was this particular lady that I didn't understand that thing. But, uh, her name was Susie. Susie Q. And, uh, why don't I talk about Sweet Dawn with her? Yep, that's right. So, uh, is this the same song? So, uh, anyway, that's what I set out to do. After everything went to heck. There wasn't much you could do when you got ZY if you're on a bicycle. Whoops, there was not the word. Yeah, because... That's what happens when you are drinking. You drink a, sometimes you have to one. So I lost my license. And other things too, because it's just, just in and out of the, uh, in and out. Yeah, oh, what's about see that? Broad County, Broad County. You remember anybody like, remember Nick Navarro? Do I remember that? So that's not his story. But it's basically, you know, I don't know. Not so much, you can get big times, but uh, this might be crazy. This is crazy, right? So, uh, so, uh, 
next one up is Alan Woody's Face TV3. And I'm not getting to the lighting. This is going to be crazy. This is 25 minutes so far. I guess it's going to be a full tour. And this is should, uh, I shouldn't do this. This guitar, my friend Andy did this. I bought two, uh, 72 Guild S100s. They were, gee, I got these for $1,000. Two of them. Then the guy called me back up because he wanted to buy them back. But I bought not from the same guy because I don't know. I looked at it and I said, oh, you're just thing, I just, I just, I just thing. So my friend and I took it apart, polished it up, put the metal back in there. It came out, it's really good. But it took a couple of like tweaks because it was all the crackly. Now this EB3, the bridge is off. But I found the bridge, I found the bridge. I found the bridge, where is this? There you go. There you go. Oh. I found the bridge on, on Reverb right after I bought the guitar. And I think it worked. So that came together. All right, really quickly. Then there's a the flying V. I saw, holy shit, holy sh what No, I can't remember his name. I can't remember who's there. Shit. Shit. All right, it'll come. But I saw him and Emmy playing this, this guitar. And he made it sound really nice. Dave Shelley. Dave Shelley. He was playing. Yep. Dave Shelley was playing this guitar at MAE. Oh, fuck. I'm going to knock some over now. Dave Shelley was playing this fly and beat at MAE Music in 2003 ish. Okay. So, but it's 900 bucks. But it was. I got it. And it stayed in the warehouse for a long time. Everything did here. It stayed in there. I just got stuff and put it in the warehouse. I think one day I would use it. Well, I don't know. That day came. I got diagnosed with this pain disorder. And that's why all this stuff came out of the warehouse. Because I wasn't going to go away and die and leave it all. Die. And leave it up. Uh, in a warehouse, I had to start moving. I got my wake up call. So I created a little reverb shop, um, Hollywood Music City, Florida, USA. And I started doing this. And uh, the point was, I have a goddaughter. Not a goddaughter, yeah. I got my goddaughter. And I want to leave, I didn't want myself to die in a warehouse. Because this amp, this one, the blue ones, the amp pegs, that little crate, that's a crate. And that box, it's got a JBL D131 in it. See the silver grill? See the silver grill? That's the green back. But these amps, and the Supro up there, the 600R rear view unit, that's what I found. Okay, I'm gonna find these too. But those are Eddie Griggs. Especially this S the EO. Okay, so here we are here. Finish the guitars. Next stop is the uh yeah Dave Shaw was playing this. This guitar. There's the guild. There's the Billy Bowl Jupiter. And that's probably with this TV Jones pickups. That's a great guitar. It's light. The, the fretboard is fast. For me, it's so easy. But I can't figure out really. The, I can't, well, I don't spend time. Spending more time with it because you know why? 
because all this stuff is a lot of work. And the, the time to play all this stuff? But I got unless it's now that it's done. That one. Because, uh, who's, who's, uh, who's Alan Collins? Who's Alan Collins? That's why that is. And I had a, whatever it is I had, is everybody had. Okay. That one. So there's the, uh, I got this at the Army Navy game in like something in the 70s. There's the Pittsburgh won the Super Bowl. One day one, I wasn't there, but I was at my friend, my dad's friend's house. So my dad's friend's house. I was like, you know, we watched it in this, on TV. I saw Vince Wan, Star Wars. I saw, I saw a bunch of shit. But football is football back then. I like it when it's my god though. Man. That's why I got She go on now. So, uh, hopefully, Facebook says that I can leave like a, that's my people in my family. Like, that's what's good about it, because you put this thing over there, and I don't care about money or not, but you leave it out there, and... So what I was, it's no, 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 there's Gene Newberg. And he gave me my first guitar lessons. Now this guy's a Winnebago Sioux Indian, born in the TP, grew up in South Dakota, I did not grow up, but at like four years, five years old, he left his place because his family went from church to church, playing for food and were bored. But he could play guitar before he could really walk. That's his brother, that's an original 52. That's Gene. He wrote a couple songs, but he played with Chet Atkins. That's the style. But it was also this. He was an Elvis. He loved Elvis. Because a godly guy, godly, you know, but not to point that Elvis was pretty, uh, you know, whatever, his godly. And uh, so Gene helped me a lot. He did. So there's the thing on the wall. There's the 600R. I found this one. So we just worked on that. It's working pretty good now. So, uh, there's a Route 66 Dr. Z. Anyway, it's got K266s in it. And it's got the JBL D131. That's a great speaker. Now, any uh, any uh, AB Bogner ported speakers. Bogner. He he is not an only AB. Oh, cool, but God, this guy puts. He has his ear. Anybody that knows any Greg? I used to hang out in his warehouse and watch him work with the with the uh, soldering iron, playing and had the soldering iron, had the spectacles, the soldering iron glasses on. And he'd play, and I'd do drums, or make uh, a fry up a bologna sandwich in the microwave or something, whatever his microwave had. He would live there in his warehouse. He never got out. He lived in his warehouse. He got out to play, and he had a bean sire. So, uh, I'm talking about these guys. Well, so anyway. The SP12, SP12, Eddie had one that said ESGR on it. Okay, so I was hanging out, and he pretty much gave me this amplifiers. You know, good, 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 good cost. But uh, he also gave me this, which I had Brian Sowers at Sowers. So I'd have to rework it. It was working great, but I let it sit too long. I didn't know about these things. Now I kind of do. Okay, that's the EP3. Let me go over the board too much. Oh, well, real quick. That's the 70s EP3. 
original one. Right there is a full tone tube take echo, number 700. There's a, uh, the most important thing in life is to be supportive of your sister. So I guess right here, that flanger, like it's on a reverb shop for Rich Robinson's. That was Rich Robinson's. So I got that from Rich Robinson's, the Black Rose. Okay, there's an AJ2 driver, best. There's an 80s Big Bop Rat. There's an original Deja Life. There's an original Full Tone Box 69. There's some Moo Effects for Mike Beagle. There's a Moochon. Right now, that's gonna, you know, always. That because, because that was another thing. Eddie was playing, and he didn't use anything. He had a guitar, he had a yellow strat. It got stolen out of his van, you know, but he had bought that, got into Les Paul, because I was getting one. I bought the 2003, he liked it, so he went to Sam Ash. He knew somebody there. You know what, Steve Weiss was uh, always checking out Eddie, because Eddie had the best tone in the world. He did, he had the best tone. And he did because of this. He did because of his fingers. That guy, that guy played the, oh my lord. But there was a bunch of players too, but he was the one that I hung out with. Him and Dean, I don't know why, because he had the sound that I liked. So whatever that was. But the guy from Klon, what was his name? He had four or five or six of these, gold ones. Or, he had these because uh, the guy who found, I don't know, was asking him to test them out. Well, if he already had one, I said, I'll go buy one. 235 bucks. He sent it to him. And then uh, a couple months later, I got it. Pretty cool. So there's that. The 70s is on there now in the Kalamazoo. But that's the thing. I put this together on the floor. They gave me a diagnosis. I'm like, oh, this has just happened. Over and over and over. Repeat after me. Change things. Because you know? I don't know why. I, so I bought, when I first started playing guitar, I was playing all of this on this. My story, it's a little story. I'm not gonna, this is for me. That's a 65 Gibson. J45 adjustable bridge and sherry. This one right here, his, her name is, uh, I think her name is Sherry. I think it's her name, Sherry. I got two. Can't deal with one here. Because I got two. This is the first guitar I like, but it wasn't mine. I wish it was. So when I could afford it, I bought this. She's great. Okay. This showed up, Mickey Mouse ears. Last year at Bozeman, Montana. Last year at Bozeman, Sam Ash. Last year at Bozeman, Montana. These guys, I would just say they had a high ride. My interpretation is they had all this stuff that they had to use. They had, they're like, oh no, we're leaving Bozeman. Oh, but we have a supply of wood and inlays. And let's get creative, man. This is our last year. And we're, this is our final stand, Chester's. So they just, that's what I thought. And looking back, these guys just made their best stuff. I got this. <laughs> this little Led Zeppelin in New Jersey. Yeah, well, okay, well, that's stuff about me, 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 me. I got this at the, uh, the flea market I was talking about. Where, uh, no, this was at the Oriental Pearl in the mall. They had this. This is the, the thing was when I did some things. I've had this since 1976. Won't go away. But the steel wheels, I never knew about this. And that sauce at the other day, that really making me cry like a bitch. Um, that, I knew about Florida the first year in 1980 for me. 1980 for that's the only music stereo that's on that radio. It was good. 
she, did I say she? So I just found out the other week that that she's only rock and roll. You always hear that, she's only rock and roll. She's only rock and roll, she's only rock and roll. Well, guess what? Put together. They took that from a David Shelley song. She's only rock and roll. I just learned that. I did not know that. So there's that. As we move around, she's only rock and roll. And I, I thought that blew me up. That blew me up. I'm pretty emotional, you know why? Because that's what the truth is. You know? And I'm glad I have feelings. I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I'm learning to play at a major scale. <laughs> I'm looking at the lights. There you go. The minor is just too damn sad. It's so boring. So, uh, I don't know anything. This is what I'm talking about. If it actually work, I don't know. This guitar right here. Because. This is a J200. I didn't want to look at the J200. That's J200. And I just have uh, They're here. I'm not going Oops. 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 See. Just a flame, I don't want to show you, but I can't. It's crazy. I'll put it on there backwards. That'll show. Okay, so here. This is, so, um, this is David Crosby. This is my first real guitar, signature guitar. And Taylor started doing the M80 Tommy. He had, and this is probably, I should have stopped right here. This has um, curly mahogany. Um, and this is Englewood spruce top. And it has a pickup. No, it doesn't have a pickup in it. Whatever's in there now is really good. So then there's the Eric Johnson MC40. Eric Johnson, Eric, the Mars, like, all right, we want to build you a guitar. One of them, he's like, no, 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 But then he gave them, he gave them these design plans. One year he gave them this plan. Sorry, it was dusty. Okay, these are like the plants. Whatever. Oh, not whatever. There's the uh, earth, and there's the moon, there's the planets in a row. So he gave them this design and they built them the guitar. And you know what he did? He said bye. He said bye. He, he separated himself from Martin right after they built this guitar from him. Now, as long as I want to know. I got a bear bow because when Dana Wells was murdered, uh, Sepultura, I didn't really know the Sepultura, though I did walk into the edge thinking it was the skate makes because I was looking for Susie and I walked into a Sepultura show at the edge in Fort Lauderdale and it was like, that was pretty cool because it was cool. They had the Jim Rose Sideshow Circus outside, that was really cool. But uh, I didn't know who they were. I just thought it was cool. And then I, I was at a Rancid concert there too. Rancid was, Pennywise, the punk 
the skate days, whatever that was, the skate, the skate days, the skate music. So these, oh, this is, okay. this is a Supro that they put together. Now, this is a 10 speaker. This is a Supro Trojan. It's a 10 speaker, but this is a lot. It's like four watts, six watts. Uh, 6v6, one of them. Okay, that's got two. That's the bigger one. That's, of course, like a, okay. So that's a 12 inch speaker, JBL D131F. This one is a 10 inch speaker. But if you see, Eddie took that out, built the frame, and there's a 12 inch JBL on that one too. That speaks for itself. All right. Mother Jones Magazine, that speaks for itself. All right. Sometimes. So, I'm moving stuff because I had to move the way around. And there's another River Rock that he put together. These, one has a JBL, no, one has a, a Greenback Arola. One has a Greenback Arola, and the other's got a tin can AV with a coffee can in the back. I'm not sure what that model is right now. There's the Ethos, that's one, I got the HRM. Now, I might be getting rid of this because it's just too much. Not what I want because I got that, the tube driver, and I got the con. So, I don't need that. But custom tones, you know, I don't know how I got it. I found it. It's loaded. It's got all the custom tone stuff on it. It was great. Okay, the Cosmos, because you know, like being from New Jersey, New York, New Jersey, yeah. And uh, I would go to the Meadowlands and I would watch the Cosmos play. And I saw Pele many times. Saw him. Saw Pele. I love my Brazilian friends. I'm deeply rooted in Brazil. Not really, but, I, but I've been around Brazilians since I was kids and four whatever my other story they come over and work the hotels in the Catskill Mountains where I was, grew up and that's where they were they come over for a couple of years hightail it work all the time hour long video no one's gonna take this oh well we will take it so there's the uh, David Crosby there's the Eric Johnson Behind here is a great guitar, but I don't want to see the back, maybe. That's Brazilian Walnut, if you can see. It's a D28 vintage. There's the other junk. There's the one I was telling you about. I bought a 12-string National. I decided to buy a 12-string National, because I just didn't understand how they had that. So I bought a 12-string National. Probably the only one that has one. And it's not got to pick up, but I use the wires. This one... There's an Ecstasy 101B. There's the National Model D. That's a great guitar. Too bad my friend put a hole in it. And he got mad because it had tape on it. So I had taped the Myers pickup to it. And he couldn't figure it out. So he's going to permanently install it. So he drilled a hole in it. Well, the pickup fell off. And I now have the uh, Myers pickup attached to a strap, a guitar strap. That's what it is. But it's truth. You know, that's what it is. This I just got the Hughes and Kettner. And that's got a JBL 10 inch in it. Just got put in. I just got a part of this. Had a Celestian. These were good. These were good. I don't know they were good because I finally got that to go with the Marshalls. That's why. And the Don, the Swinkle Mahade. Seiko Mahadi. Because of. This is what I do. Not anymore. I get to, I'm going to put some music up. But I've been lazy, not lazy. 
Something's been happening around here. And then they got really sick. So I had to uh, do all the work around the house. So I talk about Reagan. There's what I wanted to get to my pride and joy. <clears throat> Behind the stamps. And that'll be the end of it. Okay, I put these all against the wall, off the wall. I think I screwed up the camera. It's back. Okay, so when I unplug everything, I just unplug it, don't know. Keep the cord straight. Got stacks. Stacks, I'm lucky to have these stacks. I mean, I stacked them up. They came out okay. They fit, I didn't think I was gonna get something. But I got a stack. It works well. Of course, behind it, these are, you know, slush gold. Large amplification. Ah, uh, it's too dark. Oh, there it is. There is. I got this from uh, Mojo Tone. And there's another JBL, that's the G G131. And that goes with the, I think it was the Shiva. It's a 606 Shiva. Uh, and this is a Blitz 50. This is exactly what Pearl Jam was playing. It's loud, this is what they were playing. Savage Blitz 50s. They moved on to some 65s. But one of their albums and tour, that's what they had. So I, I had to watch that what you get. He sent me a swap for colors and the, there's one else right between him too. So, the reason I thought I'm gonna take pictures after, here, but I never took pictures. I was gonna take pictures. Is that a video? What am I doing? I'm, I'm gonna keep this on right now. Nobody wants to see anything. This is Sound Island. How this is Sound Island. And these are the tools that I use. And here is the Swiggle Mahati. You can see. It's got a Celestian, uh, Celestian heritage, and the sides are Weber's. Oh, they are. And there's a tube driven reverb, and there's a tube driven tremolo. And you put, so I, I talked to Reinhold. And because I had a question, he talked to me. And he said, you got one of these? Because I remember when they came out, they came out Duende, Duende Seikos, and Duende Seiko Mahalo, which means what you had on them. And he put all his stuff on here. Okay. So he said that was his favorite thing he's ever built. With the Don the Seiko Mojado. Load it up like that. So there is that. Back here is cool thing. This is the back of a fish preamp. And this is the foot switch you used to work in. To figure this out. Nobody no manuals for this. Nobody to talk to when I came out. See, I had some time when they, because he had the fish came out, J Jerry Cantrell was using a fish, and then they had no fishes, and then it came to be pop popular, but there weren't any out. Then Bogner, he said, well, I'm going to release a new second line, second second issue. As soon as I heard that he was going to do one, I, I got money, and I put a down payment on a fish. I got one. Didn't know how to use it for a while, because it didn't come up with power yet. 
I got the palate for it. I figured that out over the years. Now it's here. And it's all in my rack. I never knew how to, well, I ever thought I would have a rack. But I have a rack. So, uh, Oh, yeah. Behind the scenes. Furman power conditioners for Furman. Where's the plane? See, I'm married as much as I can. I keep the cables straight. So when you pull them off the wall, they're easy to work with. There's 55 minutes. behind the back of the ripples. And don't mind when I talk, it's just, I'm standing up. I don't even breathe right now. We have to push this back. I'll push this back just to show you what I'm talking about. Because I never had a rack, but here's what I have. I hope it doesn't fall over. I got this rack on the guy at Reverb. This is this box right here. It's like a heart box. Four space, six space. There's my rack. That's where everybody's gonna plug into because the power strip. And that's the tour. I got this from 200 bucks shipped. It's a crate cabinet with Celestion 30 in it. Guy had it and it was sitting there. So like, you know what? I need a cabinet, slush dirty. It goes great with this Wagner. This is an old Digitech I found that I don't finally had to use for. It went in the rack because I had it. <laughs> the Furman because I needed it. That's a good one if you look it up. So that's a good one. It's a really good one. I think it is better, of course, but. There's my fish. There's my ecstasy. It's Fifty-eight minutes. This is all the reverb. That's got an eight-inch JB on it. Oh no! You know, I didn't see the focus and potential spams. Oh, no. <laughs> good. Interrupted. Fifty-eight minutes to go. I put this clean layers in here. There's my nine string, there's a 12 string, 68, Epiphone 12, there's a Cole Clark, there's a Taylor 12, there's another Taylor, there's a Taylor. And there's my tellies that'll fall off the rack. Off the, off the, you gotta squeeze the handles. So there's that. I'll just clean that up. So, welcome. It's been a pleasure. I got a quote that a guy gave me. He, he just said it. And I like the way it sounds. So, uh, you know, I like to say it. How's it go? 59 minutes, 50 seconds. May what you blossom into, but 
Yeah, we want you blossom into be rooted in truth. I got a chance to put the shed in door. You used to use that. And of course. That's right. That's a minute, an hour, and one minute. Good year. Oh,